Hey everyone, it's Jeff Way with Detached Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to create a CSS drop down menu from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see here, I've added an unordered list with an ID of math. Now, you see, it's all a list. There's no reason you should be using tables anymore. It's just laziness. You can get around it, especially for something simple like this, like a menu. So let's take a look. We have four main pages. Home, About, Blog, and Contact. Now what gives this that menu functionality is right here. We have a list, but inside of the list we have another unordered list with our second tier, which has about one, about two, about three, about four. This is how we're going to create our menu. And for the sake of the example, that's the only drop down I'm going to do, but obviously if you're going to create your own menu, you can add those as much as you want. You'll just want to make sure you put the unordered list inside of the list, okay? The only other thing worth mentioning is I've added a class of no border to the last link in each section, and I'll show you why. It's not important, it's more cosmetic, but it'll definitely make everything work better. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the way I like to do my CSS is to download the Web Developer Extension Toolbar. And the reason for this is we can edit our CSS in real time. I highly recommend it. Just do a Google search for Web Developer Extension Toolbar for Firefox and you'll get it. So as you can see, we just have a blank page. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to zero out all the margins for the unordered list. And this is because certain browsers calculate the margins somewhat differently, so it's better just to be on the same page and zero them all out. do a little bit of prep. I'm just going to center everything on the page. Okay. Next, obviously, we don't want to keep that those uh, bullets on the list, so let's get rid of them. List style type. Now, let's work on the anchor tag. Obviously, we don't want that underline right now. So text decoration, none. And let's give it a nice black. Okay. That looks good. Now, let's go ahead and get started on the actual navigation. Okay. If you remember, the idea of the unordered list was nav. And let's give it some width and height. So let's do about 20.5 in. I also want to give some top margin, about 2M, and make the left and right auto. Okay. And we'll also make the font size a little bit bigger. Okay. Next, let's style the actual list. And get the position of relative, which I'll tell you why later. And let's float all these to the left so it's a horizontal menu. Now, if you can see here, our second tier is showing up, and we don't want that. We only want those that menu to show up if a user hovers over about. So we're going to have to fix that. And we'll get to that in just a minute. For the actual list, I want the width of each one to be about 5 in. And make, see? You see exactly what happened when we gave it a specific width? It forced those onto their own line, almost like a block level element. And let's give each one a height. Background color, nice green maybe. Okay. So already you can see we're starting to get the look that we want. But th this second tier is still showing, so we're going to want to get rid of that. And before I do that, I just want to add a quick border. And we'll fix that in just a moment. Next, if you remember here, I added a class of no border to the last link. And the reason is, if you come back, we have this border right here. Let's, for the time being, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. You see this border on the last link? We obviously don't want that. So we need to get rid of that. So we'll do UL with an ID of nav, 
we're going to take the list that has a class of no border. And we'll do border right. None. And that gets rid of it. Okay, next step. Next, let's do NOI. When the user hovers over a list, we're going to want the background color. See, now we're starting to get that background. So when the user hovers over a list, we're going to get that separation. Okay? And I know it doesn't look exactly the way we want it, but we'll get there. Here, let's add a line height. To it. And as I said, I'm doing this from scratch, so you'll be able to see the mistakes I make and what changes I do to get everything right. The line height is going to vertically center everything in the center. Can I say center one more time? <laughs> okay, next. Let's style the actual anchor tags. And one thing that I like to do is add background colors to just about everything. Just when I'm designing, because then you have a perfect example of how your link, your elements are actually lining up. And you see here, I want the anchor tag to take up that full width. So how can I do that? I'm going to add display. Okay. Flip them to the left as well. And just to make sure all the browsers show it correctly. Let's get rid of that background color. Okay. Next. We're going to work on the second tier now. UL nav li. Now this is corresponding to this section right here. An unordered list with an ID of nav. We're going to find the list that has an unordered list inside of it. Okay. And we don't want to see that right now because the user isn't hovering over it. So we're going to set display to none. Pop! It gets rid of it. Okay. But now when we hover over it, it doesn't show up. Why? Because we set display to none. So if we want to fix that, we need to make an, another adjustment. An ordered list with an ID of nav, when the user hovers over that list, we're going to take that nested unordered list and display in order. Aha! We're getting there. We're going to float them to the left. Okay. And let's set a width. We'll do about 10 inch maybe. And keep the background color. Actually, no, we're not going to do a background color yet. We're going to set the height to auto, and just make sure the margins and padding are zero. Okay. And we're going to align the text to the left, just to make sure. And font size, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. You know what? Let's bring the font size up to about one in. Okay. Next. Let's style the list inside of the nested list. In order with an ID of nav, list, hover, an ordered list, list. Set the width to 100%, and let's go ahead and add a background color just so we know what we're working with. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's give each one a height of, say, 2Ms, maybe. Go ahead and while we're at it, give it that nice green color. What was that C4, C5, C7? Okay. Make sure we don't want any borders. But we will add a border to the bottom, and that'll be one thick solid. And that gives us, you know, let's change that back to dotted. And that'll give us a nice kind of light gray background. What's the next step? Let's see. Let's style the anchor tag. An ordered list with an ID of nav. List cover ULLIA. And we will get to that in the next lesson.